Now, much of our discussion obviously focused on the continuing threat of terrorism. And in the wake of the vicious attacks in Paris, uh, as well as the news uh, surfacing out of Belgium today, we continue to stand uh, unequivocally, not only with our French friends and allies, uh, but with also uh, all of our partners uh, who are dealing with this scourge. Uh, I know David joins me when I say that we will continue to do everything in our power to help France seek the justice that uh, is needed, and that all our countries are working together seamlessly to prevent attacks and to de defeat these terrorist networks. At the same time, we both recognize that intelligence and military force alone is not going to solve this problem, so we're also going to keep working together uh, on strategies to counter violent extremism that radicalizes, recruits, and mobilizes people, especially young people, to engage in terrorism. And local communities, families, neighbors, faith leaders have a vital role to play in that effort. Now, Britain and America both face threats to our national security from people who hate what our countries stand for and who are determined to do us harm. In recent weeks, we've seen appalling attacks in Paris, in Peshawar, in Nigeria. The world is sickened by this terrorism, so we will not be standing alone in this fight. We know what we're up against, and we know how we will win. We face a poisonous and fanatical ideology that wants to pervert one of the world's major religions, Islam, and create conflict, terror, and death. With our allies, we will confront it wherever it appears. We must also fight this poisonous ideology, starting at home. In the UK, we're passing a law so that every public body must combat extremism. And this morning, we have agreed to establish a joint group to identify what more we can do to counter the rise of domestic violent extremism and to learn from one another.